you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> the Wizard of Oz had started production with Richard Thorpe and then started production with George Cukor, and both of them had contributed in ways, but the production wasn't what MGM wanted it to be. So good old reliable Victor Fleming, who had no prep at all, comes in and wants to make a good picture, and not only a good picture, but a good picture for his kids. His daughters today say that he really made The Wizard of Oz for them because he wanted to give them a gift that would last beyond his own lifetime. He loved children, and you can see that in The Wizard of Oz. Then close your eyes and tap your heels together three times and think to yourself, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's, There's no, no place like home. There's no place like home. Victor and Mayen rewrote the script. They completely revised the opening of the film. Before they came on board, there was no you follow the Yellow Brick Road song. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. The yellow brick road. He knew from his own dramatic instincts that we needed a good punchy send-off, so he told the songwriting team of E.Y. Harburg and Harold Arlen, give me something to send them out. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. The Wizard of Oz was Vic's first color film, and it became really the color film that for its style, all other color films are measured against. <laughs> 